Hi everyone, hope you are well. Um, we're going to start a new project today and this project is looking at um, using um, an add-on extra, an extension that we're going to put on. I'll show you how to get that. Where we're going to do draw some shapes but we're going to look at creating our shapes depending on how many sides we want that shape to have. So first thing we're going to do is just come down here to these extension buttons here. So you can see add extension and you can see all the different types of extension there are. We're going to use this one here so I want you just to click onto it and then you'll see at the bottom here this brand new little block that we can use where we can put our pen down we can decide on how it's going to look okay now we're going to keep the scratch cap but i'm going to make him a little bit smaller because he's a little bit bigger than me now i want to be able to see the shape so i'm just going to go into my looks down to change size by actually no i'm going to do set size because i want to have him maybe about 30%. I'll try that and see what happens. Yep, so the cat's going to draw. We can see his face. But now I've done that, I can just put that brick up here or I can get rid of it. It's totally up to you. So, in today's session, what we're going to do is we're going to have our sprite drawing shapes, depending on how many sides we have, but we're also going to add in something called selection. Okay, this is where we're going to be looking at using one of these if bars. So, for example, if it is raining outside, what do I want you to do? I want you to wear a coat, otherwise don't wear it. So these if buttons are asking the computer to make a choice, okay? Now I'm gonna put this in here and just hide it here for a moment. And I'm gonna use a really clever button in the sensor button here, which will ask me a question. Then you can type in these types of questions. So I'm gonna pop in, would you like to play a game question marks at the bottom of your keyboard so remember to press your shift key in and a question mark if you're on an ipad or tablet you would just go to your question mark and pop that in so i'm going to put that at the top here make that nice and big now don't be scared of these types of buttons because they look as if they're quite interesting but you can do some fantastic things with them i'm going to use my flag to start this off so at the beginning you can see would you like to play a game okay so my sprite is asking that question so if you're asked a question you're going to answer the question so we need to come up with how we develop this answer so adding in that answer we're going to go down to this button here and this is called the operators button so when you look at this don't be scared of what they do because what we can do is go through each of these buttons and have a look at the kind of things they do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this button at the bot near the bottom here this what this equals one okay now this is where i'm going to put in the answer okay would you like to play a game well i'm going to say the answer is going to be yes okay i'm going to head over to my sensor button here and i'm going to look down keep going down let me find it there it is sorry it's near the top just here the answer and i'm going to flick that in here so this is going to be placed inside my condition if the answer is yes, then what do you want to happen? Well, we want the character to do what? If they answer, would you like to play a game? And they answer yes, what do we want to happen? Have a think. Yep, yeah, that's right. We want the character to draw a picture. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. We're going to start filling in this little bit here to get the character to draw. So I'm very quickly going to demonstrate just how we get this character to draw. We can get rid of it in a moment. So I'm just going to go over to here. And this is my pen. And I'm going to say, just like you would, you pick up your pen and you put your pen down on the paper. So I'm going to say pen down. I'm going to say set my pen colour to blue. And I'm going to ask my character, my sprite, just to move across the screen. I'm going to do about 30 steps just so you can see it. Okay, now just look when I press on this code, what happens on this side on the little screen here. If I keep pressing it, can you see how he draws? Okay, 
we're going to add this into our code here, but we're going to make the character draw what we want. OK, so all I'm going to do just to get rid of it, I'm going to put this arrays all in, get rid of it, and I'm going to get rid of this code for a moment. I'm just going to hide that at the bottom. So let's start looking at what we want to do at the beginning. If a character moves across the screen, he is going to draw wherever he is. So what we want to do for the moment is just hide our character. I'm going to go over to my looks. Remember, we've used this hide button before. And I'm going to plonk the hide in here. I also don't want him to draw across the screen. So it's like me when I start a new sentence, having my pen walk across my paper to where I want to start again I would just scribble across my paper so I'm going to just ask him to keep the pen up for a moment until I ask him to do it and I want my character to go into the middle of my screen here okay now the middle of your screen has coordinates okay so remember I talked to you about having an x-axis here going left and right and up and down well in the middle is zero okay so I'm going to go across to my motions I'm going to watch, watch where I go, go to. And I'm going to ask him to go to zero, zero. So when I press click, this code will run. Do you want to play a game? Yes. Tick it. And then your sprite will go to zero, zero. I'll test it over here. Click the flag. Do you want to play a game? Yes. Enter. Have you spotted how he's gone? Yep. That code has run, so I'm just going to go back to my looks and I'm going to just put that show at the bottom there. I'll just show you where I went. I went to looks, went down and show. So he's there again. OK, so these just bits of code, I can get rid of these later on. So within this, what I want to happen is I've got the question, do you want to play a game? The answer will be yes. If it's yes, this is what's going to happen. He's going to hide. He's going to pick up his pen. He's going to go to the middle. But I also want to make sure I'm going to go over to my pen block here. Look, and I'm going to say clear all. I'm going to pop in erase all. So whatever's on my screen, I can get rid of. OK, so I'm just going to put these over here just to hide them for a moment. Now, this is the clever bit. We're going to ask a question. The computer is going to say, well, what do you want to draw? How many sizes are going to have? So we're going to put in a little button, our sensing button again. It's that light blue one. We spotted the colours a little bit different. And we're going to ask a question and I'm going to pop it in here. So read through the code. He's going to hide. He's going to pick up the pen. He's going to move into the middle of the screen and he's going to clear the page ready for you. OK, to draw your um, draw your shape. So, how many sides to our shape? Question mark. Okay, so that's going to be a question, and we're going to choose the pen color. So, set pen color to. Now, you remember when we click in these, they're all interchangeable, which means we can change what's written there. So, if I click inside here, you can choose the color pen that you want. Okay, totally up to you. I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to go for a dark blue. You choose the colour that you want though. OK, so I'm just going to pull that up so you can see. Just hide that down there. Now, this is the fun bit. What we're going to do is this is a little bit of code that I'm going to put in just because I want this shape that I create to go all across the screen to make a really, 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 really brilliant pattern. So this is going to go. I'm going to pop up to my control button. And I'm going to grab this repeat button. And we're going to just plonk it straight in here. OK, we're doing this. I would normally do this a little bit later, but because we want the order in the right sequence, otherwise the algorithm won't make sense. OK, now I'm going to change this number to 100. So anything that happens inside this loop is going to happen 100 times. OK, now we know 0, 0 is in the middle here. So all of these are different coordinates. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of randomizing, which means I'm going to get my character to choose randomly along the X where it's going to be and on the Y where it's going to be. So this is the clever bit I want you to look for. So 
we're going to go up to motion and grab onto our go to. Okay, and we're going to plonk it in here. So at the minute, he's going to go to this position. Wherever I put it, the coordinates will change. So to get that random position, let me go across to my operator. I'm going to say pick random, and I'm going to plonk one in here. And I'm also going to plonk one in here. Now, because we're mainly on things like tablets and maybe a laptop, what we're going to do is put these values in here. So this is how wide my computer is. OK, so I'm going to put in here, take away 240. And get rid of that up to 240. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for my. Just move it across like this. This is where we're going to be positioned on the screen here. So it's going to be minus 240 to plus 240. So anywhere in between here. OK, so I'm going to do take away 240. And remember, when you do your takeaway, it's along the top line. If you're using a laptop or a keyboard, just use your um, keyboard and right across the very, very top near your backspace, there'll be a, a takeaway. OK, now. We need to answer this question. What how many sides does our shape have? Well, we're going to put that answer in now. OK, so I'm going to take you back over to here. And this is where I want you to check carefully that you do put this in the right place. OK, we're going to use this repeat button and I'm going to put this repeat button in here. Can you see not here at the bottom? I'm going to put it right under that blue block. OK. And I'm going to fill this in here. OK, now, first of all, we're going to ask it to put the pen down because to draw the shape we're going to have to have a pen down we're going to set the pen size so that we know we can decide on how thick the line is going to be I'm going to choose five you can maybe change that later on and see what happens okay it's quite exciting um change pen color yeah I'm going to stick that in because I want it to be lots of different colors just move that out of the way I'm going to, when it's drawn a shape, did you know I've jumped up to the motion? I'm going to ask it to move to a different place to draw the next one. So I want a bit of distance between the different shapes. Now, this is the bit that we need to look at. We're going to get maybe the shape to turn. So I'm going to get it to turn. And I'm going to t say, I'm going to grab my operator button here. Okay. And I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to pop this inside. Now, I'm going to put 360 degrees, a complete turn, and then I'm going to go back to my sensor button and grab answer. I'm going to pop it in there. OK. Now, I just wanted to quickly chat about why we've got this block in here, OK, because it's really important that you do understand. So 360 degrees is how far we're turning. So if I was to turn 360 degrees, I'd move around in a complete circle back to the beginning. So what I'm doing is this here is a divide. I want to split that 360 degrees up by however many sides my shape has got which is the answer. So if it was five sides, I'd split that 360 up between five. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five. If it was 10, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So what it's doing is it's splitting up that circle into however many sides you want. OK. Now, and then I'm going to say pen up. Pop it all in a long line here. Now, there's one last thing I need to do here, OK, which is to pop in that sensor because everything depends on the answer that is given. OK, depending on if you say two, five, ten, twelve sides on my shape. OK, this will read this answer. So it's going to repeat that shape. It's going to put the pen down, draw the shape. OK, then it's going to move, turn it maybe. And then when it's finished, it's going to have its pen up. Now, I'm looking through my code. We've asked a question, which is, would you like to draw a shape? If you draw a shape, 
it's going to do all of this, all that fantastic code you put in. But we've also got to decide what if somebody says no, OK? We've got to have an answer to that because somebody might say no. So what happens if we say no? Well, first of all, I want the character, my sprite, to show up because he's going to show up and talk to him. I'm going to ask him, motion at the top here, blue. I'm going to ask him, and remember, stop at any point if you need to go back and check. OK, I'm going to ask him to go into the middle of the page. So there, in the middle, and I know that is zero, zero, whether you're working on an iPad, um, laptop, anything. Zero, zero is right in the middle there. OK, I'm going to say clear the screen because I don't want anything on the screen. Erase all. And I'm going to get the character to speak and I'm going to get the character to say. Remember, this is check. You can change this. OK. That was a comma. So a comma is at the bottom of your keyboard, just next to your space bar. OK, no problems. You might even put an exclamation mark in. So remember that shift key and exclamation mark. Or if you're using an iPad, you can just pop that in. And then I'm going to go up to my events button. And I'm going to use, if I can find it, ah, it's in the control one, the orange, right at the bottom, stop all. OK. Now, really important, when you're doing your pieces of work, keep going back and read your code out loud and see what it's saying. So we're going to just start from the top here. Ask the question. Would you like to play a game? If the answer is yes, then the character, the sprite's going to hide. He's going to pick up his pen, go into the middle of his page, clear the page for you, and he's going to ask you how many sides to, to your shape. OK, I'm going to set the pen colour to blue. If we say yes, this is what's going to happen. He's going to repeat it 100 times. He's going to go to lots of different places on your screen and he's going to go with your answer. So if I say five, he's going to draw a shape with five sides. He's going to move around the screen in lots of different places and he's going to pick his pen in between. But if somebody says, How, would you like to draw a shape? And the answer is no, then he's going to pick up his pen. He's going to go into the middle and he's going to say, OK, no problem. OK, so I'm going to click here. Would you like to play a game? Yes, I would. So make sure your answer is the same as the one in here. So if you've written it like this, make sure it's the same. How many sides to our shape? I'm going to say five. Ah, oh, look. I'm going to stop it. OK. Would you like to play a game? Yes. And did you notice how it's changed lots of colours? I'm going to try how many sides to our shape? I'm going to say seven. Now I'll ask you a quick question. Why have some of the shapes down here? Have you seen it's going to continue and continue a hundred times? Some of the shapes down here, just because they're on the side of the um, screen, have been a bit have been a bit morphed, a bit changed. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to play again. This time, would you like to play again? Yes. How many sides to our shape? I'm going to say twelve. There. Can you see this? just because it's hit the side of the screen. So we could debug that maybe, but I'm going to stop it and I'm going to just ask again. Would you like to play a game? No. OK, no problems. OK. Right, some added extras that you can add in and just change. OK, if you want to. You can go in and change your color so the color will start at maybe orange but then change to different colors you might want to change the size of your pen so for example i could change it to i'm going to change it to 20 and i'm going to change my pen color by 50 okay and also i'm going to change um, the number of steps so the steps on mine will be quite small you could have them really big if you wanted to and test it out. But I'm just aware that when the shape hits the side of the screen, it changes. I'm also going to say. Um, I'm going to add in. 
that is a shame. Okay, so I'm going to run my program. Would you like to play a game? Yes. How many sides to our shape? I'm going to say three. Now, have you noticed that my pen is so thick that you can't actually see it? So I'm going to go back and I'm going to say set pen to two. Yes, I would like to play a game. How many sides? Three. Run. You can see tiny little triangles, can you see? So the more you play around with your program, the more fun you can have, okay? So for example, I might go back to, I remember it being set pen, that's five. I'm going to try 20 steps. Actually, no, I'm going to try 50, because that's much bigger then. And then I should see, do you want to play a game? Yes, I'm going to keep this bit the same. Three. There, so you can have a bit of a play around. So look at the parts of the program you can change. I would keep this the same as it is, just purely because you're telling it where to draw. So the narrow these numbers are, say I take away 100 to 100, it's only going to draw on certain parts of the screen instead of the entire screen. Okay, have fun and see what you come up with.